Live streaming in VO means that you can now set up a camera in one room and stream it to another. That could be another room in the same building or another room in a completely different country. Setting up a live stream is simple. On your home page, simply click on set up a live stream. From here, you need to enter a name for the session. Give it a description if you wish. Select the duration of time that you expect it to last. Set the date and time for the stream to commence. Typically, this will be happening imminently, so simply click on today and now. You now have approximately five minutes to start the stream. If it's going to be any later than that, simply choose a time a little bit later. You can fix the tag set that people use, or simply choose one as a default. To fix it, ensure that the tick box is clicked underneath the tag set choice. Now click on OK. At this stage, you can invite either groups or communities of people to view your stream, or you can add individual people. We can now click on Save and go live. And now we have to enter some details into our streaming camera or streaming app on iPhone, iPad or Android devices. On all of these devices, install and run the Wowzer GoCoder app. From here, you will need to enter a few simple details in the settings. When you click on settings, click on Wowzer Streaming Engine. First of all, we'll set the host settings. These are always the same. The server is a number 54.171.75.118. The port again stays the same and is 1935. Then click on back, enter the application detail. This number is the same as the URL on the browser. You can see here it's live underscore one underscore four zero one underscore one two. This number changes slightly each time you use it. Normally it's the number at the end that changes, but it's worth checking that the other details are correct too. Following this, enter the stream name. Again, this number typically increases sequentially as it's used. Click on back and now we set the source authentication. Again, the source username is the same as the stream name or the login. And the password is a unique password, new every time you set up a live stream. In this case, it's 695-662. Once that's complete, the app is ready to stream the live session. And I can now press the record button on the phone, iPad, or Android device. Back on the browser, we need to click on refresh to make sure that the stream is feeding through. As you can see, this is working satisfactorily and we're now ready to begin. I now click on continue. I can enter the pre-record information if I want to. Again, click on continue. And now start the tagging session. At this point, all people who you have invited to the tagging session will be able to see and tag the live stream as it takes place. In the same way that you can tag events as you see them happen on the iPad app, or when you're tagging retrospectively, you can tag the live stream. You can also add notes. And if you make a mistake, you can remove tags. If you have the pupil engagement or engagement slider set, you can also use these functions too, along with the possession buttons, which aren't available on this particular tag set that I'm demonstrating with. As the host of a live stream session, once the stream has finished, you need to click on end tagging session. Participants do not see this option. Once you finish the stream, simply click on OK, enter the post record information and submit your tags. Participants will have to do exactly the same. 
they must press submit in order to submit the tags that they've added to that stream video. Streamed videos will appear in the videos shared with me space for participants and will appear under my videos for the host. You can now also press stop on your streaming device.